In the forgotten time, sacred fires blaze under a vast ancient sky. A sage, what the ancients called a Vedic Rishi, raises a golden chalice filled with a mysterious brew, pressed, filtered, and mixed with milk and honey. As the fire crackles, something awakens. The drinks have lifted me up like swift horses bolting with a chariot. In my vastness, I surpass the sky and this vast earth. Have I not drunk Soma? Soma, praised in over 100 hymns in the Rig Veda, an ancient Indian text over 3,000 years old, was more than a drink. It was a cosmic experience, a bridge between the human and the divine. But here's the mystery. We still don't truly know what Soma was. How did the ancients believe that a mysterious, possibly psychedelic drink unlocked the heavens? To uncover its roots, let's journey beyond rituals, temples, and civilizations to a much earlier, primal moment. Picture this, early hominins traversing the African savanna, trailing herds of animals. But they weren't just hunting, they were unknowingly heading towards something transformative. Quietly sprouting from dung heaps along the way was Coelocybe cubensis, the largest naturally occurring psychedelic mushroom. In his book, Food of the Gods, Terence McKenna proposed that regular exposure to psilocybin mushrooms by early hominins may have profoundly influenced the evolution of human consciousness. This idea, later referred to as the stoned ape theory, suggested that these mushrooms helped trigger neurogenesis, rapid creation of new brain pathways, fear extinction, reduced anxiety, promoting social bonding, pattern recognition, enhanced ability to see connections crucial for language, art, and abstract thinking. In short, early humans weren't just tripping, they were experiencing the birth of complex consciousness. Could psychedelics alone explain the rapid expansion of the human brain? Probably not, but could they have contributed? That's what makes this theory so compelling. Because if early humans use psychedelics, spirituality and altered states could be older than humanity itself. So, could those ancient encounters have quietly shaped the way we still seek meaning today? Fast forward millions of years, hominins evolved, brains doubled in size, language blossomed, humans stopped stumbling onto psychedelics by accident, they began seeking them intentionally. Across ancient cultures, this search took on sacred form, in songs, in fire, and in brews that promised a glimpse beyond the ordinary. In ancient India, one such brew might have been known as Soma. Soma wasn't merely a drink, it was an experience. Pressed, filtered, mixed with milk and honey, it was offered and consumed during fire rituals known as Yagnas. The Rig Veda vividly captures its effects, exploding in radiant light. Visions of human-animal hybrids, ego dissolution, merging with cosmic order. Modern psychonauts report eerily similar experiences, tunnels of vivid light, esoteric beings, and profound interconnectedness. But unlike recreational psychedelics today, Soma wasn't consumed casually. It was a deliberate path toward poetic insight, divine communion, and higher knowledge. If we listen closely, we hear echoes of that original mushroom experience resonating in one of humanity's oldest traditions. But were these just hallucinations or something deeper? Whether it's soma, mushrooms, or modern psychedelics, the human brain consistently responds in a profoundly similar way, as if there's a hidden doorway inside all of us waiting to be opened. Scientists believe psychedelics access this door through the 5-HT2A receptor, a subtle gateway usually activated by serotonin, the neurotransmitter influencing mood, perception, and our very sense of self. Psychedelics don't gently knock, they burst through this door, illuminating hidden neural landscapes. In these moments, the sense of individual self softens, replaced by a profound feeling of unity. Colors become vivid, time dissolves, and patterns emerge, spirals, radiant entities, as if these visions have always existed just beyond our ordinary perception. This explains why someone drinking Soma thousands of years ago could describe visions almost identical to those experienced by a psychonaut today. These aren't culturally created images, they're deeper, innate, hardwired into our neurobiology. Perhaps spirituality wasn't invented by humans, we merely discovered it, waiting within the circuits of our minds. Soma's recipe is lost, the stoned apes are gone, but the experience they unlocked, altered states of consciousness, never left us. 
through ancient brews, rhythmic breathwork, meditation, or modern psychedelics, humans continue seeking the same neurochemical fireworks. Moments when the self fades and everything feels interconnected, we may never fully unravel the mystery of what Soma was, nor definitively prove how psychedelics shaped human evolution. But one truth shines clearly. The yearning to transcend ordinary reality isn't new. It's ancient, fundamental, embedded within us. Maybe spirituality didn't begin in texts or temples. Maybe it started around a fire, under endless stars, as early humans whispered into the darkness. What else is out there? And maybe that's the question still echoing quietly in each of us today. Thanks for watching.